Okay, so I'm in my car. I have my car lock. Now I have my activation card that came with it. On the back of my activation card, I'm hiding it with my thumb. I have the actual activation code or serial number. So I'm going to put that over here. And um, I have my smartphone. And on my smartphone, I actually downloaded the car lock app. As you can see, there it is. Um, I actually downloaded it from the uh, Google Play Store and where is the Google Play Store yes here it is so I downloaded this app here and um, so I'm ready to open that so before I open that app a quick check so I have my smartphone with my app I have my activation card over here right and um, I have the car lock device which is in the box so here are the instructions so what they're telling me here let me just hide some of this light here so you can see it let's look on page one so it says here activate your account before installation you have to activate your car lock account so what I have to do is um, I'm going to open the application that you saw on my phone and then I'm going to use the activation card code that I showed you to activate the account and once I've done that we will then install the little device um, in my onboard diagnostic port which we normally call the OBD port and here's a little diagram of where you will find it in most cars they say in most cars this port will be found somewhere under the steering wheel near your knee fortunately for me um, that's exactly where it is in my car and we will see that in a second so let me open my app here okay it says here welcome to car lock monitor your vehicle on your smartphone from anywhere in the world and here are the notifications that you get and if you look at part one of this video um, I already went through this already gives you an idea of what you will get to see so let's get right to it so they're saying that this car lock device is required for the service to work yes we know that already finish now, yes, you can access my photo media files on my device. Go ahead. So, I'm in the application, and before I can log into my account and all that, here's why I activate it. So, here at the bottom, it says here, car lock device is required for car lock to work with your vehicle. So, let's press activation here. So, I'm going to put in my activation code and serial number, and uh, then I will continue. And now what I'm going to put in is an email, my email address, a password that I want to use, my name, and a contact phone number. So let me put those in now. Now, emergency contacts. I can actually put phone numbers for the emergency contacts. So I'm going to put a phone number. Uh, I can, you can put up to three phone numbers for emergency contacts. So let me do that right now. Now, let's put my vehicle information. So it's asking for my vehicle type uh, manufacturer vehicle model time zone that I am in and country so let me put those in now there ladies and gentlemen you then get an email so I have an email that says welcome to car lock and I've been told that my account has been successfully activated now I can start using the car lock so I can plug the device into my um, OBD port here on my car and I can start receiving um, I can start you know using the um, service so what I'm going to do next is just plug this device into the OBD on my car and then once I've done that um, they say here please note that you will not see your car's location immediately after you plug in the device so what I have to do is once I've activated my account which I have done I connect the device into my OBD port then I'm to start the engine and go for a short drive to get the location so the GPS will be picked up right and then I should see my car's location on my G, my car lot app. And once that's done, we are good to go. Good to go. All right. Thank you, paperware. I think this is the first time I've actually read instructions. Wow. Okay, so I'm right under my steering wheel, and I just opened the door. So this is the door here, as you can barely see. That's the hinge of the door. And um, here it says OBD. This is where my OBD is, my onboard diagnostics uh, port. So what I'm going to do here. I just take that off. And there's a cover on this one, right? 
and, there, and there's the port. So next I take out this. This was actually in the box. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, this should plug right into my OBD. And here is the nice logo, Carlock Connected Drive. So just plug that in. So this has male connectors on it, so I just plug it right into this female port like that. And that can stay right there. Alright. Now, I'm actually going to cover this up when I'm done. Because if somebody wanted to steal my car, I don't want them to see that I have a car lock device. Because the first thing you will do is take it out. Um, but that's how easy it is. So it's already installed. That simple. So now all I have to do is get in my car. Let's drive around for a bit. And then let's check our app. Let's park our car, of course. Because I cannot use my phone while I'm driving. And then let's check our app. And let's see if the location of my car has been picked up. And right now... Huh. I have not even moved off yet. And it has kind of picked up my location here. Okay, so I've just driven for a couple kilometers, uh, and it actually picked up my location almost immediately. Now, they say that you should drive your car for a bit first for the GPS to pick you up, but it picked me up pretty quickly here. Um, so, this is where I am right now. That's the address up there, yep. And it actually does show me where I am on the map, which is pretty cool. So, I've been using the car lot for a couple of days, and... Um, I've opened the app just to look at some of my driving history and stuff like that and see what the app actually tracks and has kept a recording all. So right now I'm looking at the month of May, so my driving score is 99, top score is 100, so that's pretty good I'm guessing. Um, and it tells me here distance driven, um, 881 miles so far for the month of May, and uh, total driving duration, 37 hours and 29 minutes. So for the month of May, it's kept track of all of my driving, so you know, over, well, 37 and a half hours of driving, uh, 881 miles covered in distance, um, and here's a log here. So the log here gives a, a, a whole inventory of like all the trips that I've done, and it tells me the date that the trip has started, the start point and the end point, actual addresses and everything, which is good, and then Yes, it actually tracks when you do like uh, harsh cornering or uh, harsh acceleration. So here's one time here, it tracked my harsh cornering at 3.03 p.m. on May 28th. Um, and yeah, it just keeps tra track of all of your trips, start and stop. Um, even tracks, uh, engine started, um, which is pretty good. And here's your scheduler, so there's nothing really there. And there's a settings page where you can set uh, backup notifications um, in terms of SMSs and calling you. Um, you can actually set your notifications if you want vibrations enabled, um, auto lock enabled, um, harsh driving um, notifications enabled or disabled. Um, and if there's a signal loss, you get a notification as well. Here's where you actually set your speed limit. Right now it's set to 80 miles per hour, so if you go above that, then it would say you know, you're going above the speed limit. And you can mute all, and you can even override the silent mode. And then here is where you set your profile, and it can actually tell you here, because obviously you have like a, a subscription, so you can actually track your subscription, so mine soon expires. Um, so I can just simply go in and just... Um, um, update my subscription just like any normal app right oh and one thing I forgot to show you here so this is the dashboard right but if you scroll down you can actually you know, see your battery voltage usage okay so I'm actually just u-hauling here moving some stuff and what I did I just parked my car at the u-haul place and um, now this app actually comes in very handy now. So say for some reason I forgot where I parked my car, I can just check my uh, my app here and actually see where my car is. And even more importantly, as you can see right now, that's where my car is, if you can see roughly. It's actually there, it has the address at the top. And right now, I will be alarmed. An alarm will come out if this car moves or if it gets bumped, if it, if it moves or anything, if anybody pushes it or if anybody drives off with the car. Or even if they get into the car and they take out that uh, car lock device, an alarm will actually go off on my car, uh, in, on this phone. And I can actually track, if the car is driving, I can actually track in real time where the car is on this map right here. Oh, 
and there's my car over there. Oh, I see it in the parking lot. So, start the car. Okay, I haven't heard any, any warning signals yet. BMW engine started. And hear that alarm? That is, that's coming from the phone. So it's detected that the car started and it gave that alarm, you hear that? All right, so I could be anywhere on my phone. I could be miles away from my car. I could be on the other side of the planet. Somebody starts my car, that alarm goes off, All right? And I get that notification. Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm gonna ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course, the newsletter will have you know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next. Um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now well, by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is, I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.